Lesson 13. How to stay motivated when life gets tough. Welcome back to one of the last lessons in the lessons of finding your ikigai. Together, we've made significant progress over the past lessons, but there's still a bit more ground to cover before we tie everything together neatly. If yesterday's lesson on overcoming obstacles focused on practical strategies, today's lesson delves into mindset, specifically, maintaining motivation during challenging times. Regardless of who you are, where you reside, or your background, you will inevitably face periods in your life when the odds seem stacked against you. Perhaps you've already encountered times like these, but always remember that the way you respond in these moments holds the power to shape the trajectory of your life. Let's discuss resilience. What does that word signify to you? There's a Japanese proverb that states, Nana Karobi, Yaoki, fall seven times, rise eight. A common trait among those who have clearly identified their ikigai and strive to live in alignment with it is their unwavering pursuit of their purpose, no matter the obstacles that arise. They may need to reevaluate or pivot, but they persist in working towards their goals. Embrace this mindset as you navigate life's challenges and strive to fulfill your ikigai. By remaining resilient and motivated, you'll be better equipped to overcome adversity and continue pursuing your purpose, whatever it may be. It's essential to clarify that resilience is not the same as perseverance or the ability to keep pushing forward. Resilience refers to the capacity to recover and remain steadfast after encountering challenging times. Moreover, resilience enables you to concentrate on the things that genuinely matter, rather than being swept away by anxiety or negativity. Developing resilience in your mind, body, and emotional state is crucial for navigating tumultuous periods and emerging not only unscathed but improved. Cultivating a robust sense of resilience within yourself makes it easier to rebound when life or circumstances throw you off course. Discouragement affects resilient individuals differently than others. They possess the ability to maintain focus on their objectives as if wearing blinders to block out the noise around them. Resilient people don't live in a bubble of ignorance, oblivious to world events. Instead, they fully comprehend the areas where they can exert influence. Adaptable and resilient individuals can adjust to changes in their circumstances while staying focused on achieving their goals, even if it requires charting a new path. As Reinhold Niebuhr's Serenity Prayer states, God, grant us the grace to accept with serenity the things that cannot be changed, courage to change the things that should be changed, and the wisdom to distinguish one from the other. Regardless of your religious beliefs, this sentiment rings true. It's crucial for your overall well-being to understand which aspects of life deserve or warrant your valuable energy and time. Recognizing and focusing on the things you can control restores your power to decide how you want to proceed, strengthening your resilience and ability to overcome challenges in the pursuit of your ikigai. It is worth noting that two schools of thought, Stoicism and Buddhism, can offer valuable insights on resilience. Both philosophies emphasize the importance of living in the present moment, which can help cultivate resilience during challenging times. An interesting practice that arises from these schools of thought is negative visualization. While it may seem counterintuitive, imagining the worst possible outcomes can actually lead to a sense of peace and preparedness. Through negative visualization, you either realize that the worst possible scenario isn't that bad or become better equipped to handle adversity should it arise. The key is to observe these negative visualizations without becoming consumed by worry or fixation. Both Stoicism and Buddhism assert that nothing exists but the present moment, making concerns about the past or future a waste of emotional energy. You cannot control the past or the future, but you can influence the future through your present actions. By focusing on the present, you can exert control and foster resilience. Ancient Roman philosopher Seneca once wrote, All things human are short-lived and perishable. Although this may seem bleak at first glance, it carries an underlying understanding rooted in Stoicism. This perspective encourages us to accept the transient nature of life and focus on what we can control in the present moment. By embracing this mindset, you can cultivate resilience and better navigate the challenges you may face in pursuit of your ikigai. Recognizing the impermanence of both joy and pain can help you fully embrace the present moment. By understanding that all aspects of life are temporary, you can better cope with hardships and savor moments of happiness. In times of struggle, it's essential to surround yourself with a supportive network of friends. These unconditional connections will help you navigate through tough times, stay grounded, and prevent negative thoughts and emotions from taking over. Your friends can remind you of your priorities and provide the space you need to realign your thoughts and actions with your purpose. Beyond resilience, 
There's the powerful concept of anti-fragility introduced by Lebanese-American author Nazim Nicholas Taleb in his book, Anti-Fragile, Things That Gain From Disorder. Anti-fragility refers to the ability to grow stronger when faced with adversity as opposed to merely bouncing back unharmed. This concept is reminiscent of the Hydra from Greek mythology, which became stronger with each attack. Embracing anti-fragility means recognizing the opportunities embedded within every challenge. Not everyone is willing to explore these opportunities, but they can offer valuable lessons. Your hardships may teach you about vulnerability, preparedness, or what truly matters in life. By adopting an anti-fragile mindset, you can use adversity as a catalyst for growth and ultimately strengthen your pursuit of your ikigai. Thank you for listening to yet another lesson on your journey to finding your ikigai. We are almost finished with this course. See you in our next lesson.